It's been a bit, but uh, I'm back. Um, I've been continuing working on the project. It's just mostly I've been rewriting old code. Um, but not like uh, like cleaning up. I've been working on the performance and uh, functionality of the old code. It's like you improve as a coder and then you look at your old stuff and that happens to be in the same code base and it's just disgusting. So you wanna kinda redo that. So that's what I've been doing. But uh, I'm pretty much done with it. I maybe got like a, a week or two left until I'm happy with uh, where the code's at. Anyways, this here is a relatively old change, I think from like November 10th of last year. Um, I've sent FPS numbers in my Discord, but I haven't actually shown it on video yet, so I'm doing that now. Yeah, so basically this is a method that allows for finer occlusion culling, which is when you hide or you stop rendering things that are behind other things. Um, so. Here I have meshlets, which are just groups of 16 quads. Um, each of them generate a bounding box around the 16 quads. So for this gray meshlet, it would be something like this and then too high. Uh, and then with that bounding box, I get the screen space bounds and I perform a high, C, high Z on it. So having the meshlets be only 16 quads is much nicer than the old method, which was uh, calling based on the chunk bounds. Oops, that's the wrong thing. So you can see how much more the chunk is calling at once, which will, which means if the chunk isn't called, isn't called, you're rendering a lot more. Um, but meshlets. Uh, so for example, in this here, it would not call those, but it would call the stuff in here with the chunk bounding box, which is this here. Since part of it is visible, everything inside here would render, uh, which isn't ideal. A few more things to touch on. The meshlets are grouped by a face direction. So you can see if I look up, you got this yellow meshlet. At the side, it's green, despite them being uh, right beside each other. These are different meshlets. It just allows me to call meshlets based on uh, the face direction uh, before even doing like high Z uh, occlusion calling. Uh, some of the meshlets are really ugly because of greedy meshing. For example, this stuff out here. But I have tried everything I can think of, and greedy meshing still performs best, so I'm keeping it despite the ugliness. Uh, I think last thing is that I'm not doing normal high Z with the meshlets. I'm doing uh, high Z where I go two mip below where you'd usually. Um, I found this just to be strictly better than normal high Z. Like normal high Z really, really is bad. Um, like bad enough that doing the uh, junk bounding boxes like this was almost as good. So, uh, that's all I can think to touch on for the meshlets. Um, expect more videos soon, like very soon. I want to try and get this going again. And the rest of this video will just be uh, screenshots with frame time numbers. <laughs>